just days ago, Jade Panayoto's husband Christopher gave this emotional tribute to his murdered wife. She made me feel like the luckiest man alive. I never quite figured out why she gave her heart to me. Jade was a superb boy. There was nothing in life I could do without Jade by my side. Jade was my drive to do better. Jade kept me going. Just a day later, police would arrest their first suspect in the murder case. That man, Tando Siole, was allegedly the middleman in the hit on Paniyoto. And he reportedly led officers to a 28-year-old man who authorities say was, quote, very close to the young teacher. Police are still searching for the alleged hit man. Paniyoto had been abducted last Tuesday morning while waiting for a lift to work. Her body was found the next day. She'd reportedly been shot. The murder sparked outrage in Port Elizabeth. There is a prima facie case against both suspects and a motive of robbery has been ruled out. Uh, the detective team that investigate this case and will continue with the investigation consists of members of the Hawks, of local detectives, other specialized units, our intelligence teams, and they will continue with the investigation. Police won't name the 28-year-old suspect as he is yet to appear in court. Lawyer Alvin Cribano has, however, confirmed that he's been approached by the family of the dead woman's husband to represent one of their family members accused of her murder. He would not confirm the identity of that man. Karen Moore, Johannesburg.